Hello everyone and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Today we have finally made it into Neverwinter Wood. There's a few things here that can only be attempted by druids, so in the final episode of the series when I go back and uh, do everything that I could not do this uh this character we will uh see those things but there are some quests to pick up here so we're gonna you know do our normal filling out of the map oh god i got my boots of speed last time remember that oh, fucking hell boots of speed are so good Hell yes. Look at how fast I am. I'm swift as the wind. All the sounds of woodpeckers. Druids trap the shit out of their chests for some reason. But it won't stop me. Wand of sleep. Can't use that, but I'll take it anyway. I'll sell it. Hell fucking yes. Potion. Hell fucking yes. I just got off of work. This video is late. But I don't care. I just want to play. I just want to play some Neverwinter Nights. And worry about all the editing and shit later. So this will be... I guess this is Monday's video. And not Sunday's like it should be. But, oh well. Deal. Excuse me, dear. Got that. We're gonna need to save before we get over there. Jar has a druid only quest for me, there I believe. There is nothing like living in dangerous times to test one's strength of heart. Do you agree, stranger? Yes, I challenge fate daily to prove myself worthy. Excellent. I will buy you a drink later when I am not on duty. Of course, in the defense of nature, I am always on duty. Ha! <laughs> now what is it I can do for you today? What do you do here? I am in charge of the druid circle challenges. When a druid wants to become a member of our grove, he or she must challenge one of our members to gain entry to the first circle. Alright, goodbye. That's- yeah, that's it. Damn it. I cannot- do that and that quest is gonna stay there forever now because I cannot do that because I am not a druid. Which is really unfortunately. Henna and Wilker. Everyone here is named uh, Archdruid Alwit Awil. Hello there. All of nature's creatures are welcome to this grove. How can I help? Who are you? I am the Archdruid Awil and you are Violet Nyam. How do you know that? The wind stole your name from your lips and carried it to the trees who whispered it to me. Now how may I help you? What is this place? This is a druid grove. Here, those who truly revere nature gather to discuss, to contemplate, to learn, and even to challenge nature. Unless there are more of us here. Usually there are more of us here. But several of our members have gone missing. Uh, what do you mean they've gone, gone missing? It's a long story, but I sense that you are a woman of action, so I shall try to be brief. Thank you. Until recently, this wood was a relatively peaceful place. The nymphs of the wood protected the creatures, and the natural order reigned. But now something has gone terribly wrong. The creatures have become overly aggressive, attacking anyone they lay their eyes on, including those who are considered friends of nature. You mean rangers and druids are being attacked. We can't even seem to communicate with the animals. It's like their minds have been driven mad. They simply want to destroy. I think that something must be wrong with the spirit of the wood. Uh, what is the spirit of the wood? The spirit of the wood is a difficult concept to explain. The forest is not just a group of trees, it is a living being. The spirit is the protective essence of the wood. It has a mind, of sorts, though it really doesn't think like either of us. It cares for the creatures that live here, maintaining the circle of existence, and uh, that includes life and death. So what's wrong with it then? The spirit of the wood can use those who live in the wood to protect its, its existence. Now it is attacking even those who would be its protectors. I do not know what is wrong with the spirit, 
but it is obvious that it is using the creatures to strike out at anything foreign. I need someone to find out what is wrong, even though the spirit will surely try to kill that person. I think I can handle it. This is not a responsibility to be taken on lightly. I dare not send someone who is only partially committed to the task. I swear I shall do the, my best to save the wood. Then I thank you for your assistance in the task. There are two jobs that need to be done. I have mentioned the first, to discover what is wrong with the spirit of the wood. The second is to find the missing druids. As the druids were sent on the same mission as you, it is possible that they might be able to provide you with information you need to complete your primary task. If you can help me save the spirit, I can pay you 500 gold. For each of the druids we rescue, I will give you 300 gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? What are the names of the missing druids? I see that you do indeed have the proper instincts for this name. Uh, the missing druids include Orlane, Bree, and Terreri. That's all I need. Or, or where were the druids last seen? They entered the deep wood, and that is the last anyone's seen of them. Nothing more is known about their location. Uh, that's all I need. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Sylvanas, go with you, my child. Uh, Ao- I think it's Aowell. Aowell, archdruid of the Conclave in Neverwinter Wood, reports that three of his druids have recently gone missing. He is unsure of their fate, but has revealed their names being Terreri, Orlane, and Bree. The spirit of Neverwinter Wood has somehow come to harm, and Aowell, the archdruid, who maintains a conclave there, is gravely worried. He has reluctantly granted forest access to adventurers so that they might help him write whatever has gone wrong. Oh, sorry. I opened today, so I'm quite tired. Not too tired for gaming, though. That much for just one silver ring. I don't believe anyone else has a quest here for me. One more thing here that I need to do before I head into the wood. And we're gonna need to stay before we do it because it's very easy to fuck up. Save. Please, you must help me. I've already lost a fellow ranger to the animals in this place. He lies just down the southern path. Kill them all, my creatures. I will kill the creatures. <laughs> no, kill the creatures. <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> I surrender. Oh, good, good. Okay, we did it. We did it. If you the made creatures short work of my creatures, it would not be wise to let you do the same to me. Uh, if you. Do not kill the creatures before Wyvern. They're going to keep attacking you through this speech, and uh, which and attacking them back will turn him hostile again. So you cannot talk to him. Uh, who are you, Wyvern? Formerly a guest of the Bulwark Prison in Waterdeep, at your services. Why did you ambush me? It was nothing personal. I thought you might be a bounty hunter looking to kill me or take me back to that hellish dungeon. I would sooner kill myself than go back to that horrible prison. For ten years I felt not the sun on my face nor heard the call of the wild. I am a ranger and for me it was truly hell. Now I am free and back where I belong. I want nothing more than to be left alone and never again shall I rise to, shall the rank stench of so-called civilization assail my senses. Why were you originally imprisoned? I was born in a forest to the east. My father was a ranger of some renown and he taught me to love the forest and all the creatures within it. Life was idyllic, but though it did not last. Men came to the forest. Human mercenaries on leave from their employ with the lord of the human lands west of the forest. They burned part of the forest, slaughtered the animals for sport, and crucified my father on a tree when he came to speak with them. When my father did not return, my mother went to search for her. I found her dead at the foot of the tree where my father hung. She had been brutalized before they killed her. My father still lived and is watched, helpless, as my mother was killed. He died in my arms and I swore vengeance. What happened? I hunted them down. One by one I found them and killed them. I killed their families. I 
killed their dogs and their horses, stupid beasts that were, remained loyal to these men despite what they had done. When the human lord brought his forces against me, I disappeared into the woods and picked the men off with arrows and, until the survivors were so afraid of the forest they called it haunted. You were captured? I was barely... Uh, I was betrayed by one of my own, a ranger who they hired from the west. He tracked me down and would not listen to reason. He talked of innocence killed and vengeance gone too far. He did not understand. I was captured and taken to prison. There was no trial, and only through the intervention of the ranger was I not killed outright. But that was many years ago, and the rage has long since faded. My father was avenged, and I only wished to travel the wilds and never see another settlement again. How did you escape? I escaped with the aid of the other inmates, Yazgur, Sturge, Zor, and Delilah. Typically, they were not the type I would associate with, but I was desperate to escape. I could not stand being in that cell, locked away from nature. I don't regret my actions, and did not deserve to be caged. You don't wish to die, and you want to make a deal? Indeed. This need not end in battle. Perhaps you'll allow me to make a suggestion. The bounty is for my ear. I'll give you my ear if you allow me to leave. Tell them I'm dead, and let me become a recluse. I'll go into the wilds and never return. Alright, but only if you help me find the other escapees. Then I'll get it over with. This arrow tip should be sharp enough. Ah, that stings. There, take the ear and claim your bounty. As for my partners, I barely spoke to most of them. However, I do know that Zor is an idiot and has likely drowned himself in an air barrel, barrel at the Green Griffin Inn. It was to be his first stop. I've already killed Zor. Don't care about him. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a poultice to prepare for where my ear used to be. You've kept up your end of the bargain. Go into the wilderness and never return. I thank you for my life. Farewell. Thus far, adventurers have been able to secure three of the five, though Yesger remains unsighted. Alright, where am I keeping my ears? There are my ears. Oh no, this way. There we go. There we go. Now let's loot the fuck out of his camp, because he's never coming back here. Wyvern is gone to become a hermit. Ooh, he got a potion. I like rangers. My next uh, Dungeons and Dragons character, I think I'm gonna make a ranger. I was reading about them, and the Unearthed Arcana really made them more palatable as classes. I've always liked them, and I wanted them to be done justice, and it seems like they finally have been. So I am more than happy with that. Uh, oh, okay, I need to talk to, uh, Dragon. I hear that you have a contract with the great druid Aowil. Very well, then. Good luck to you. Thank you, Drowan. The rage of Dragon. the red tiger unleashed! A deer. Bye. Yeah, I'm not even remotely threatened. Oh, a druid. Get away from my tree! You must die! No, please let me live. I give up. The rage. It burns me up. It makes me want to kill you. I'm trying to control it, but please be quick. What do you want? What is causing the rage? I don't know. The rage just fills my mind. It makes everyone seem like an enemy. I don't know you, or who you are, except that something makes me hate you. What could affect your mind in such a strong manner? Must you keep talking to me? I must flee soon, or else I will be forced to attack you. I, the only being I know of who has that kind of power is the spirit of the wood. But it has never caused harm before. I don't know why it would start now. No! She has spared me! I must not do such things! Sorry, mistress. Uh, stay calm and keep- Uh, do you know what I might do to stop it? I don't know. I can't think. The spirit hasn't been here in a while. It doesn't travel by here now. I don't know why. Maybe if you could find someone whose mind isn't affected by the spirit's power. Who wouldn't be affected? How should I know? I never go far from my tree. You are the ones free to roam around. You should know these things. You're so stupid, I should... 
Uh, never mind. Maybe the druids could help, or the nymphs, or even the witch. Tell me about the druids. There were some druids wandering around here a while back. I don't know where they went because I was hiding so I wouldn't have to attack them. They were dangerous. They wanted to hurt my tree. No. No, that is the hate speaking. Why would the nymphs not be affected? I didn't say that. I didn't say they wouldn't, did I? Just that they might not. How should I know? Um, sorry. I don't mean to keep yelling at you like that. Uh, tell me more about the witch. Sitara is the witch of the, of the wood. She comes here sometimes. She's bad and wants to eat me. No, wait, she's good and she helps me. Oh, I wish I could think clearly. This is so hard. You must be careful when you deal with Sitara, though. She has a hard time dealing with people. It's because of her face, of course. What do you mean because of her face? She used to be beautiful, but now she's ugly. I don't know what happens since she doesn't like to talk about it. I just know that she thinks people are always judging her by her looks. She won't talk to you because you're evil. You want to kill us all and burn our trees so she won't talk to you, and I'm not going to tell you how to get her to talk to you. Get away from me! You can trust me, dear. Why don't you tell me what you know? Oh, you are right. I'm so sorry I yelled at you. It's just so powerful. I will tell you what you could do, but then you must flee. The witch Sitara would give anything to have her looks restored. One day, one of the nymphs told me she had something that made people think they were beautiful. I don't know any more than that. But you might be able to trick Sitara with that. Now please, let me go and you should leave before I am overcome. I guess you had better flee now. Goodbye. No, I will not flee. I will strike you down and kill- Oh, no. Yes, I will flee. You must get away from my tree. If you remain close, I will lose control and attack you again. Goodbye and good luck. Alright, let's... Uh, do what she says and get away from her tree. It is night now. Seems to rather abruptly turn to night. Entrance to Nick home. Garbage. Of lore, dire boar. Yeah. Loot bag. Yoink. Woohoo. Don't want that. Don't want that. What else is around here? There's, uh, the nymph's house. This is the way forward, so we don't want to go there. Oh, dear. It's a deer. Bye, deer. Four. Oh, jeez. They're not terribly strong. God, I love my boots of speed. I will not Exploring is so much defeated. quicker. Oh, sugar. I was meant to go around, wasn't I? Stones. And a crate. 40 gold, nice. Excellent. Gotta say, not even slightly threatened by the deer. I think they have three hit points. I'm pretty sure that's all they have. Defeated. 
pile of stones. Oh, there's a headstone. Headstone. Here lies Ken, beloved of Henna, one with the spirit. Oh, Henna was in the was in the druid encampment. I wonder if Henna has anything to say about that. Actually, I'm not sure. Barrel's gold. Let's check with Henna. I'm very curious. Henna. Greetings to you. Hello there. My name is Henna. May I guide you along? How may I guide you along, Nate? May I guide? What? Nature has paths that we walk every day. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Guiding you to the right path is my duty in life, just as others have guided me. Um, what do you do around here? Uh, no, she doesn't have anything to say about her husband. Oh well. I didn't think she did. Because I know every single quest in this game. Might have had some flavor. Alright, let's go talk to the nymph. Nymph song. I will say, it is a very uh, modern home for a someone who lives in a tree. Nymph slave. They don't have a whole lot of models, but not a whole lot of textures, but still. Having open flames in a in a house that is within a tree would probably not be ideal. An urn. Sixty five gold. What's in here? Oh, it's just a. S oh. Check the mystery. Please, no more. I surrender. Hey I don't know what's going on. Where am I? Where are my clothes? Uh, what are you talking? What are you talking about? Why did you attack me? I, I don't remember attacking you. I don't even know who you are or where this is. The last thing I remember was walking through the woods trying to figure out what went wrong with all the animals. I avoided several bears and a few boars, and I was getting very tired. I stumbled into an open glade, and, and I saw... I think it was a woman. A beautiful woman. Yes, that's it. That's the last thing I remember. Next thing I know, you were attacking me, though you say I was the one who attacked. This is all very confusing. Uh, do you remember anything about your captivity? Hmm. No, I don't remember a thing. Sorry. Let me ask you some questions about what you knew before you were captured. I will try, although I can't promise anything. I haven't learned very much. Uh, what did you discover about what's happening with the animals? There's nothing much to tell. I couldn't speak to them or calm them. They were just extremely hostile. I never had the opportunity to find out more. There are some druids mi missing. Do you know what happened to them? Haven't the slightest idea. Perhaps you should search this place, but be careful. They might attack you too if they were li if they're like I was. I heard about a witch named Sitara. What do you know about her? 
I have heard a little bit about her. She likes to help the forest creatures, but she doesn't have much contact with people. There's some story about how she used to be beautiful, but suddenly turned ugly. That's all I know about her. Alright, you should get out of here. Thank you. Good luck to you, madam. I should probably rest. Probably a good place to rest, actually. Excellent. Good. Great. Perfect. <sighs> now, what is in this room? Oh, it's a hallway. I don't want a hallway yet. I like people who store sapphires on their bookshelves. Anything in there? It does not appear so. This place is very shiny. You can hear it. Everything's shimmering. It's ever so slightly annoying, actually. 24 gold, and there, there is actually a chest down there that I missed. Thank you. Alright, let's get going down this a ways. What's this way? A room with Griggs. left alive. They're gonna drop- they all drop remains, but all they have- literally all they have is pixie dust, and pixie dust is only worth one gold, so... Oh! I did not see the chest. I did see the trap on the floor, though. Oh, fuck. At least I didn't take any damage from it. Oh. One seventy one gold and the sapphire. Heckin' fantastic. Oh, oh another dominated. Hello. Sleep. Oh dear, I see the nymph has bewitched another one. Wait, you don't have the look of one beguiled by her sorcery. No, I'm not. I'm in control of my own mind. Who are you? My name is Tereri. I am a druid of the Neverwinter Wood Grove. And who are you, good madam? Uh, my name is Violet. Aowil sent me to find you. Then I owe both Aowil and you a debt of honor. I only wish I had gotten further on my mission to save the spirit of the wood. How far did you get? I didn't get very far. Uh, I thought that although the animals were not communicating, the nymphs might be a good source of information. Uh, they might be flighty, but I thought that they would have strong enough minds to resist the spirit's madness. I came to this house first since I had, um, known this particular nymph in the past. She seemed very pleased to see me, eager even, and I was hoping to get some information with her without, well, going into her house. Why didn't you want to enter her house? Somewhere in the back of my mind, a part of me was wondering why she never actually used my name even though we had known each other for quite a while it seemed odd unfortunately I was not thinking clearly I, you were thinking with your dick I guess I was just certain that I could handle anything she tried when we got to her house she suggested that I get undressed and while I was doing that she cast a spell on me um I guess she knew how to manipulate you next thing I know I was locked in here and able to escape the nymph hasn't harmed me but she won't let me go 
Before she enters the room, she casts some kind of spell, and I wake up later with no memories of what happened. Now that you've freed me, I must return to the grove to discuss the spirit of the wood with the other druids. Uh, maybe the others have learned more than I have. I'm trying to help with that. What have you learned about the spirit of the wood? I do not know why, but there is a madness in the spirit, and it is infecting the wood. It even affected the nymphs, so the madness must have a powerful hold. I do not know that... I do know that in order to get the spirit, you will have to find a way to enter the pool that it used to come through, uh, to get into and out of the wood. Before she cast a spell on me, the nymph did mention that the spirit hasn't been here in quite a while. Tell me more about this pool. The pool is some kind of entrance to another realm, where the spirit usually lives. I haven't the slightest idea what the other realm looks like, though. Uh, why didn't you go into it? No living creature can go through the portal and into the other realm. Uh, that is what some of the oldest stories of my people say. The stories say that the portal exists between the realms of life and death. The spirit exists as some sort of half-life, so she can go back and forth to the portal, but we can't. Uh, do you have any suggestions of what I should do? You should try to find the others and see if they know more. There's also a witch named Sitara in the wood, uh, who might know something. I was going to talk to her after the nymphs. Beyond that, I have no idea how to cure the spirit, but it needs to be done soon, before some rash adventurer decides to kill off every living thing in the forest. Are you able to get out of here on your own now? I can make it on my own. I'll meet up with you at the Druid Grove. Thank you again, and good luck. Rescuing Terrari. The Druid Terrari has been rescued from the clutches of the Madden Nymph in Neverwinter Wood. He has been investigating the mysterious circumstances surrounding the, the Spirit of the Wood, but will now return to Archdruid AOL and report what he has discovered. Uh, other druids deeper in the forest speak of having seen the spirit entering and leaving a pool of water, uh, as if part of some ritual. What that ritual may be remains unclear, however. One of the druids has been found and rescued. Let's continue looting the building. Nothing in there, really. A little smiting. That Xandrite. Nymph oh Jesus Christ. This nymph has an enormous health. Oh, Taste my savage fury. Nothing. A lock of nymph hair. Sharwin. A lock of nymph hair. Yep, Sharwin needed that. Shall we go and tell her? I think we should go and tell her. Dying was unpleasant. Yes, is this? Please level up. Yes, is. Um, I believe I have a lock of nymph's hair here. This is nymph's hair, isn't it? You are a marvel. Danon will be freed, and Lady Onaris revealed for the fat old woman she is. Or is is that what I want? I've been looking forward to this for some time, but I fail to feel any excitement over it. Um, you don't need Danon anymore, I guess. No, no, I suppose that's true. I'm part of his life- I'm not part of his life anymore, nor would I want to be. Thank you. I wish I had something more to thank you with. Maybe I'll think of something later. Let's go, shall we? Sharwin was pleased to receive the lock of Nymph's hair she had been seeking. The item Sharwin gave you in Chapter 1 has been upgraded. It now is Charisma plus 3, Perform plus 2, Persuade plus 2... Useless plus same. Useless to me, at least. I've been. Yep. Let's go back. Come on. There we go. Ooh, 
some stuff. I like stuff. Even though I often have no use for it. Wait, what? What? What is? What's? Oh, henchman. Henchman lit up. Now we just need Tommy's thing, which is the Star of Kalimchan. Which we won't be able to miss because it's it's its own. It's, it, it's huge. Well, is it? I don't know. There's a couple of stars. That's where I want to go. You're judged and found wanting! There was a lot of crits in that on our end. That's awesome. I mean, not for them, but crits are nice. Damn. Oh well. Save. Oh no, this is just Griggs. Pixies and Griggs. any of them. Someone damaged Dalen. Did did he trigger a trap? What happened there? Alright, I guess let's go in door number two. They all lead to the same place. There's the nymph. No, I will not allow you to kill me. Nature's creatures must be protected. Now you are mine. Foolish woman! I don't know why you thought you could just steal into my house, kill my slaves, and destroy another one of nature's protectors, but now you have fallen to my charms. Now, bow to your mistress. If she looks like that, okay. What are you talking about? I'm not a slave. Don't talk back to me, slave. Now, what menial task did I put you to work at? If you were trying to to dominate me with your power, you have failed. If you want to die, just try to pull that again. No! How is this possible? What has happened to my powers? I've been attacked several times in your home. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you now. You... You mean you didn't come here to destroy me? Of course not! I came here looking for a way to help the spirit of the wood! Oh. This is terrible. I'm so sorry, but I was certain that you... Oh, I don't know why I thought that now. There is nothing I can do to make up for this. I was wrong. How was that possible? You were here to kill me. That is what I thought the moment I felt your presence near my tree. I I just wanted to stop you. Could you ever forgive me? I guess I can forgive you, but I expect you to help in any way you can now. Oh, thank you, mistress. You are very kind. I will do whatever I can to help you. I just wish I still had my powers. I don't know why they have become so weakened. How long have you been in been having trouble? A couple of weeks ago, I was down by the river watching the fish jump, and I felt the presence of danger. I looked around, then scrambled up the bark 
the bank and into the grove of trees. I couldn't see anything, yet the fear kept growing. Suddenly there was a scream in my mind that felt like someone had stabbed a dagger into my brain. I was overcome by the power of it and I fell to the ground unconscious. When I woke up, the fear was still there and I sensed the whole forest was in pain. What could have caused that? It was the spirit of the wood. I have been sensing its pain and fear ever since that day. It is constantly screaming for help. It is all I can do to keep my sanity. Indeed, I guess you have experienced just how I am losing this battle. At time, as time passed, I began to keep myself closer to home. Until recently, I have not even been able to leave my room. So great is the fear. Um, you have suffered greatly. I suppose anyone would have trouble maintaining their sanity. That is very comforting to hear you say. I, I feel as though you give me strength. The fear is not as consuming when we speak. Um, well, I guess there is more I should tell you. The first time a person came near my tree, I took him with my power and kept him to guard my home. The next few were easy too, but they started to get harder and harder. Now I have no power left. Oh. Excuse me. As you can see, I don't know what to do now. Uh... If I'm going to help you, I need to get to the Spirit of the Wood. Do you know how I could do that? I don't think that's possible. The Spirit is a creature of both life and death, and the only thing, and only he can enter the portal to the other realm. I've, he's, the Spirit of the Wood is now both he and she. Uh, what does that mean, both life and death? The Spirit lives on another realm, somewhere between the world of the living and the world of the dead. It is the only creature on this plane who can enter the portal. The portal is a pool below a waterfall, and finding it won't help you. It wouldn't help anyone. Are you sure the spirit's the only creature to ever enter the pool? Well, several had tried, but no, that's not a good solution. Forget it. The spirit is the only one who can do so successfully. You were going to say something else. You must tell me, please. There was a druid, not long ago, who claimed he figured out how to enter the spirit's realm. He said he had been studying it for years and had finally pieced it together. He didn't tell me how he was going to enter, but I was curious, so I followed him. He went to the pool and built an altar, but then he did the strangest thing. He took out a dagger and plunged it into his own chest. His body slipped below the surface of the water, but when I, when I went over the pool, it was gone. Maybe he made it to the realm, but if he was dead when he got there, I'm not so sure it was worth it. Others have tried it through the years, but their bodies just lay there decomposing. Well, most of the others. What do you mean, most of the others? This is important. A dwarf came here a few weeks ago. He was fierce and mean and seemed immune to my charms. He asked about the dagger the druid has used to kill himself. I don't know how he knew about the druid, but I kept the dagger as a keepsake of the druid. When he threatened me, I gave it to him. I never saw the dwarf again, but shortly before everything started going wrong in the forest, I found the dagger in front of the altar. Was the dwarf's body in the pool? No, now that you mention it, his corpse wasn't there. I need that dagger. Do you have it? I brought it back here, but I don't remember where I put it because the pain hit me before I made it back here. I'm sure it's somewhere in my house, though. If you look around, you should be able to find it. But you shouldn't use it. I don't want another death on my hands. They are so bloody already. It's okay. I'm going to go find the spirit of the wood and help you escape this fear. You have a strength within you that burns away the mask of terror that has shrouded my life these past days. I hope... It sounds presumptuous, I'm sure, but I really hope I may call you a friend. I can't think of anything else that would help, but I will answer any questions you have. What do you know about the witch, Satara? Oh, she's a terribly ugly old crone. You don't want to have anything to do with her. I can't even bear to look at on her, so I refuse to allow her anywhere near my tree. I don't even like to talk to her. It disturbs me that much. Is there anything else I can do? That's all I can think of now. Farewell. Thank you for all of your kindness, my friend. I do hope you'll return again someday. If you manage to cure the spirit, please return, and maybe we can continue our friendship. Good luck in your quest. I am truly sorry for the harm I brought you and the deaths of my slaves for which I am wholly to blame. I am never coming back here again. Hey, I found the Ceremony of Dagger, and the Mirror of Vanity, and a Sapphire, and what is this? This musty old tome appears to be the type of book that was written and never read. It is a long, boring text written by a druid, uh, Jordius Kaini Getafix III, several hundred years ago. It uses large, complicated, and often seemingly meaningless words to discuss his observations of the spirit of Neverwinter Wood. One page in the text has been earmarked, and there is a small comment uh, under, beneath an underlined passage in the margin. 
This could mean that if one stood in the pool below the waterfall and somehow died, one could reappear alive, presumably, in the realm of the spirit. Ceremonial dagger. The magic mirror of vanity offers the viewer an image of themselves that is incredibly attractive. In fact, the image is so perfect that many viewers become lost in the illusion, believing themselves to hold greater physical charms than they truly do. That sounds like it's important for a woman who's so ugly that no one can look upon her. Alright, let's rest. We're gonna rest. Oh, what happened? Oh, the nymph tried to talk to us. Alright. Okay, so let- there was a cave. Oh. Um. Evidence discovered deeper in the forest tells of a pool at the base of a waterfall where the spirit of the wood would perform a ritual to enter the spirit world. The only way for mortals to follow it is to enter the pool and die while in its waters. A magical dagger uh, is obviously involved in the taking of one's life. Kids, don't stab yourselves in random pools. It's a bad thing to do. Don't do it. Let's check out this cave. And then we're probably gonna stop. I believe this cave just contains a dire bear. Oh no! I will not it's a bigger cave! There is a cave that just contains a dire bear. But this is not it. This is a horrible, awful, terrible spider cave. I fucking hate spiders. I'm trapped. Nope, I'm fine. Great. The spiders in this game are particularly terrifying. I'm not gonna loot any remains because they're all just edder cap silk glands and I don't need that. I don't need them. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Nothing there. The spiders in this game are like particularly scary because of the way they move. Like, this game is so old, and I mean, it's not the best on pretty much every front, but the way the spiders move is just so on point. It's terrifying. Especially, they like to hide on the ceiling, so sometimes they'll just drop down on you, and that is like the scariest shit I've ever seen. As someone who is very arachnophobic, it's, it's horrifying. Oh, these poor corpses. I would hate to die here. File under worst ways to die. <laughs> gross, 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 gross. Skull pile. Oh, gross. 
Uh, did you see that sword spider? That sword spider was coming down from the ceiling. It's horrible. The rage oh, of I am the stuck. red tiger unleashed! Yeah! Fucking webbing. Dalen might kill them before I get free. Yeah, he will. Alright, seriously? What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. It somehow created 15,000 actions. Pleased to see you. Well, thank you for unraveling me from that cocoon. I thought I was dead for sure. I'm glad I was able to find you down here. Who are you? My name is Orlane. I am a druid who was sent by my leader, Aowil, to find out what was wrong with the spirit of the wood. I have met Aowil. My name is Violet, and I was sent to rescue you. Thank the balance for Aowil. He is a strong leader. So how'd you get captured? I was sent into the wood to find out why the creatures were attacking everyone. I tried talking to a deer in one clearing, but the poor thing's mind was so confused that it attacked me. You were attacked by a deer? I've never heard of such a thing. It came right at me, and I tried to dodge, but it caught me in the side with a hoof. It reared up to strike me again, but then it suddenly turned and ran off. I got up to try to fall, but then I heard the soft chittering sound behind me. I turned around, but before I even saw what was happening, something soft with long hairy legs and mandibles leapt on top of me. The spiders attacked you on the surface? I don't even... I don't even know what it was. I didn't even know what it was at first. I felt the thing bite me, and then suddenly the entire world started to spin. Next thing I knew, I was here, all wrapped up. I was just waiting to feel another bite, then you came along and set me free. Again, thank you so very much. Now I need to find my companion druids, and see if we can figure out what to do about the spirit of the wood. Tell me what you learned about the spirit of the wood. Well, if it is obvious that something- well, it is obvious that something is severely wrong with the spirit of the wood. It seems to have gone crazy. Usually the spirit enters and exits the wood through a portal to the north part of the forest, but from what I could gather, the spirit hasn't been seen for a while. Uh, tell me about the pool. The pool is some kind of entrance to another realm where the spirit usually lives. I haven't the slightest idea what the realm looks like, though. Uh, what do you, why didn't you go into it? I don't know much about the pool except that a few legends. I do know that no living creature can get through the portal and into the other realm. According to an old druid I once met, the portal exists between the realms between life and death. The spirit exists in a sort of half-life, so it can go through the portal at will, but we can't. Um. Uh, you should get going. Uh, um, I should be fine now. Again, I can't thank you enough for your assistance. Good luck. Good luck and be careful out there. Two of the druids have been found and rescued. The druid, or Lane, has been rescued from a spider cocoon in Never- I was not done. In Neverwinter Wood. 
he has been investigating the mysterious circumstances surrounding the spirit of the wood, and must now and will now return to Archdruid Aeol to report what he has discovered. Right, I guess we'll go back up this other way and clear the dungeon. Yeah. Bring him yeah. elemental resistance, great. Oh, I got fucking cocoon. Yeah. Not cocoon, uh, web. Actually, Dalen's not doing too bad on his health. I think Dalen should be fine until we get back around. I'll rest once I turn off the camera. already a place like that. It's called Australia. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Dylan's fighting a sword spider alone. Should probably help them. Sword spiders are ever so slightly nasty. What are you fighting now? Face spider. I'm not as fussed to help him with a face spider. Your blood shall stand. Because they go down like a sack of hammers. God bless it. striking range of us. We dumb fucked you up, son. Oh, Feel face spider. I mean, look at that. That is just too fucking big. I will not be defeated! It's just way too big. I'm not okay with that at all. Dalen is not poisoned anymore, which is good. Ooh! Half plate plus three! That's not gonna bring my AC to. 22! I think that's better. It certainly looks cooler. And look at that. It's all blue and shiny. Oh, and you can see my tattoos. Alright, we're keeping the half light. Now that I have that belt of strength, I'm not too worried about the weight anymore. Alright, we survived, so let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's daytime now. We spent the whole night fighting spiders. Right, into the deep wood. Heart of the forest. Alright, but this is a job for next time. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I've been Rael, and I will see you next time. Bye!